Liberal Democrats in Bristol. Bad people, yes. There we go. He put a shout out today saying, and I quote, We have declared war on supermarkets. Dun, dun, dun. They have pure hatred for super. They hate them. They hate every single one of them. Not just, not just like, all a Tesco. Fucking all of them. That's it, every yeah. one. I've had two swear words now. Uh, <laughs> that's one at all, yeah. Oh, I have, actually. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> So basically, they're saying we need this quote: "We need more control over supermarkets." I got a bit of a theory about all of this. You see, tell us. They're declaring war. Like obviously, I think Lib Dems have always had pure hatreds for supermarkets. They've always wanted war. They've had this building up since they did you were created many years ago. A simmering resentment. And so, what it is, all of this, I think it was the Lib Dems who threatened to bomb Tesco. It fits. In Stokescroft, it was them, and I think it was them who smashed the windows in at Tesco in the riots. And it's a bit of an exclusive for you, but basically, I saw on the day of the riots, uh, Councillor John filling up a petrol canister oh my God. OMG. at a petrol station. OMG. Now, I just made the assumption, as it was John, he was going to burn down Kerrams. Like. Something like that. But, <laughs> or even John Rogers. Well, yeah. But uh, no, no. I think it was him who did. Well, who's done well, it all. Well, that's all they had to do. And they, I think actually they're the outsiders who have come in to spark off these riots. Agitators. They sparked them off so they could say, right now, under the cover of riotous young people, that's it. Yeah. We can attack the real party enemy. It's not the Tories. Never Tories. Was. Never. We'll get in bed with the Tories so we can attack the real enemy. Supermarkets. Supermarkets, mate. That's what it's all about. Supermarché, as they say in France. No, I'm it's a... totally right. But you know, who have the coppers gone for? They blamed it on the anarchists, isn't it? You know, that's terrible. We need proper coppers, like Inspector Morse, <laughs> like bloody <laughs> Inspector Montalbano <laughs> from Italy. What was like him? Derek, the German. I think the older, the older people in the audience will know about him. Red